It was a typical Saturday morning, or so I thought. I lay sprawled on the couch, one hand lazily scrolling through my phone, the other holding a half-empty bowl of cereal. My mom bustled around in the kitchen, as she usually did, humming a tune while making herself some tea. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. Yet, there was something in the air, a strange energy that I couldn't quite place. Dylan, can you help me with something? My mom's voice broke through the haze of my half-asleep mind. Yeah, coming. I mumbled, placing my phone down with little enthusiasm. I pulled myself off the couch, feeling the grogginess that only teenage laziness could provide. Making my way into the kitchen, I was greeted by my mom's usual beaming smile, but today, there was something different in her eyes, a glint of mischief, or maybe something deeper. Can you get me the old box from the attic? I need something from it, she said, turning her back to me as she stirred the sugar into her tea. The attic. It was the one place in the house I never ventured into. The stuff in there had been collecting dust for decades, filled with relics of my parents' past and other random junk. But I couldn't say no to my mom. Sure, I replied, though I dreaded going up there. I made my way to the narrow attic stairs and climbed into the dimly lit room. It smelled like old books and forgotten memories, and I could see cobwebs stretching between the rafters. After a few minutes of rummaging, I found the box. It was an old wooden chest, covered in intricate carvings that looked like they belonged in some kind of medieval fantasy movie. Strange, I'd never noticed this before. I lifted the surprisingly light box and brought it down into the kitchen. Here you go, I said, setting it on the table. My mom turned around with that same gleam in her eyes, a wide grin spreading across her face. Thank you, sweetheart, she said in an unusually sweet tone. You know, Dylan, I've been meaning to talk to you about something. You've been different lately. I frowned, confused. Different? What do you mean? She gestured for me to sit down at the table with her. You've been acting more distant, more frustrated. I know being a teenager isn't easy, and figuring out who you are is hard. But, well, what if I told you there was a way to help you explore a side of yourself you might not have considered? This was getting weird. What are you talking about, Mom? I asked, shifting in my chair. She opened the box, revealing a collection of shimmering fabrics, bottles of strange liquids, and small, glowing trinkets. It looked like something straight out of a witch's lair. My heart skipped a beat. What is all this? I asked, my voice tinged with disbelief. She leaned forward, her eyes sparkling with excitement. I've never told you this, but there's magic in our family, Dylan. Real magic. I've never used it much, but lately, I've been thinking about how it could help you. I blinked, staring at her. Was she serious? Magic? Uh, mom, are you feeling okay? Magic isn't real. She smiled knowingly. Oh, but it is dear. And today, I'm going to show you. Before I could protest, she grabbed a small vial from the chest, uncorking it with a soft pop. The room filled with the scent of lavender and something sweet, like fresh vanilla. Dylan, there's something I've noticed about you, she said softly. I know you've been struggling to figure out who you are, and maybe you haven't thought about this yet, but deep down, have you ever wondered what it would be like to be someone else? Maybe a girl? Her words hit me like a punch to the gut. I had never spoken about it, not to anyone, but there were moments when I felt different. Moments when I caught myself wondering what it would feel like to wear something feminine, to express myself in a way that didn't align with how the world saw me. But I buried those thoughts deep down, too scared to confront them. I... I don't know what you mean. I stammered, my heart racing. She smiled gently, holding the vial out toward me. It's okay. You don't have to explain anything. But I want to give you a gift. One that will let you explore a different side of yourself, just for a little while. And if you don't like it, I can change you back. I stared at the vial, my hands shaking slightly. Change me back. Yes, she said softly. Just for a day. What if, for one day, you could see the world from a different perspective? As a girl, my mind was spinning. This was insane. But at the same time, something deep inside me, a part of myself I had always kept locked away, was curious. What would it feel like? I... I don't know if I can do this, I whispered. She reached out, placing her hand over mine. You don't have to be afraid, Dylan. This is your journey, and I'll be right here with you. Just trust me. I hesitated for a long moment, staring at the shimmering liquid in the vial. Could I really go through with this? Would it even work? And what would it mean if it did? But there was a part of me that needed to know, that needed to experience this, even if just for a day. Okay, I finally said, my voice barely audible. I'll do it. My mom's smile widened, and she handed me the vial. 
Just drink it, she instructed. With trembling hands, I lifted the vial to my lips, feeling the cool glass against my skin. I took a deep breath and drank the liquid in one swift gulp. It tasted like honey and roses, sweet and warm, and I felt an odd sensation spreading through my body almost immediately. At first, nothing happened. I sat there, waiting for some kind of explosion or magical burst, but the room remained quiet. I glanced up at my mom, who was watching me with a patient smile. Suddenly, I felt a tingling sensation in my fingertips, then my toes. The feeling spread quickly, like an electric current running through my veins. My skin prickled, and I gasped as the sensation intensified, growing warmer and warmer until it felt like my whole body was on fire. I stood up, stumbling backward, but my mom was there, steadying me with gentle hands. It's okay, she whispered. Just let it happen. My heart raced as the changes began. I watched in shock as my hands started to shrink, my fingers becoming slender and delicate. My arms followed suit, slimming down, the muscles I had built up from years of sports disappearing into smooth, soft skin. My breath hitched as I felt a tightness in my chest, and I looked down to see my shirt stretching, my chest expanding. Breasts, actual breasts, were forming beneath my shirt, pushing against the fabric. I could feel their weight, their softness, and it made my head spin. I looked into the mirror on the wall and barely recognized the person staring back at me. My face was changing too. My jawline softened, my nose grew smaller and my lips plumped, giving me a feminine, heart-shaped face. My hair, once short and messy, was growing rapidly, cascading down my shoulders in thick, shiny waves. And then there was the final change. I could feel it between my legs, a strange, pulling sensation as my body shifted completely, becoming something new, something undeniably female. When the transformation finally stopped, I stood there, staring at my reflection in disbelief. I was no longer Dylan, the awkward teenage boy. I was a girl, a beautiful girl. Wow, I whispered, running my hands over my new body, feeling the unfamiliar curves and softness. My voice was higher, softer, almost melodic. How do you feel, my mom asked, her voice full of warmth. I, I don't know, I said, still in shock. I feel different, but in a good way. It's so strange, but I like it. She smiled, wrapping an arm around my shoulders. I thought you might. Now let's have some fun with this, shall we? The rest of the day felt like a dream. My mom helped me pick out clothes, actual girls' clothes, and for the first time in my life, I got to experience what it was like to wear a dress. It was a simple sundress, light and flowy, but it felt incredible against my skin. The way the fabric swished around my legs, the cool breeze brushing against my bare arms, it was a sensation I had never imagined before. We spent hours doing things I never thought I'd enjoy, trying on makeup, doing my hair, experimenting with different outfits. My mom was so patient, teaching me how to apply eyeliner, how to choose the right shades of lipstick, how to walk confidently in heels. At first, I was clumsy, tripping over my own feet and smudging mascara all over my face. But as the day went on, I got better. I started to feel more comfortable in this new body, more confident in my new identity. By the time we went out for a walk in the neighborhood, I felt beautiful. I couldn't believe the way people looked at me, the smiles, the admiring glances. No one saw me as Dylan, the awkward teenage boy. They saw me as a girl, and for the first time in my life, I felt like I belonged. We stopped by a cafe, where I nervously ordered a coffee, my voice trembling slightly as I spoke to the barista. But he smiled at me, completely unfazed, and for the first time, I realized that I was truly passing as a girl. As we sat by the window, sipping our drinks, my mom looked at me with pride in her eyes. You look so happy, Dylan, or should I say, Daisy? She teased, using the name we had jokingly picked out earlier. I blushed, looking down at my hands. I am happy. I admitted softly. This feels right, more right than I ever thought it would. She reached across the table, squeezing my hand. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. You've been so brave today. I know this isn't easy, but you're handling it wonderfully. I smiled, feeling a warmth in my chest that had nothing to do with the coffee. Thank you, mom, for everything. As the day came to a close, I found myself standing in front of the mirror again, staring at my reflection. I had spent the entire day as a girl, and it had been the most amazing, eye-opening experience of my life. But now, the moment of truth was approaching. My mom had told me that the magic would only last for one day, and soon, I would change back into Dylan. 
A part of me was relieved. It had been a whirlwind of emotions, and I wasn't sure if I was ready to live as a girl full-time. But another part of me, an even bigger part, felt a deep sense of loss. I didn't want this to end. Are you ready? My mom asked gently, standing behind me with the vial in her hand. This time, it contained the antidote, the potion that would change me back. I swallowed hard, nodding slowly. Yeah, I think so. But as I reached for the vial, I hesitated. My hand hovered over it, my heart pounding in my chest. Mom, what if I don't want to change back? I whispered, my voice trembling. She looked at me, her eyes soft and understanding. You don't have to, Dylan. This is your choice. If you want to stay like this, I can make the change permanent. But you need to be sure. I stared at my reflection, my mind racing. Could I really do this? Could I really live the rest of my life as a girl? I don't know. I admitted. It's scary, but it feels so right. I've never felt more like myself than I did today. But what if it's just the magic? What if it wears off and I regret it? She smiled softly, placing a hand on my shoulder. Magic didn't change who you are, sweetheart. It just gave you the opportunity to explore a different side of yourself. The feelings you had today, those are real. But you don't have to decide right now. You can take your time. I nodded, feeling a sense of relief wash over me. I didn't have to have all the answers yet. For now, I could just be me. Whether that meant being Dylan or Daisy, I knew that I had the support of my mom and the freedom to discover who I truly was. As the sun set on that magical day, I realized that my journey was just beginning. Whether I chose to stay a boy or embrace my new identity as a girl, I knew one thing for certain. I was finally free to be myself, whoever that might be. And that, in itself, was the greatest magic of all. Thank you so much for watching till now. It means the world to have you here. This community is all about empowering each other and celebrating the incredible journeys of everyone on their path to living authentically. If you're ever feeling lost or alone, remember you have a whole family here for you. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let's keep inspiring each other, sending you all the love and strength in the world. Until next time, live your life by your rules.